Konnichiwa dear viewers, our classic game here and welcome to the explanation video that I have been doing. So basically what I wanted to check just right here as you're seeing is is my microphone being recorded and yes it is so we don't have problem with that. But anyways I get a request from a guy called Cash Twin Sanity uh, to do a short tutorial on how to configure PCSX2 to have a nice graphics for the game um, Crush to Insanity. I know exactly what is he talking about. Uh, as a default, the emulator when you run Crush to Insanity has some really messed up um, thing on the screen that is that is following whatever Crush is going and it really looks bad. It's not unplayable, but it's it it it, it is just bad looking and why why use that when you can use better? Now, the important thing um, is that every game, every PS2 game has to be configured uh, differently on on PCSX2. So maybe if you do this to Crash to Insanity, then some other games wouldn't work well. I know for example if you configure a configuration for uh, Crash to Insanity that the games like Tide of the Smanian Tiger will not work. But Anyways, uh, enough talking, let's do this. So, as you can see, this is um, what is my version of PCSX2. I recommend downloading that one because it's the most recent one, or at least it was the most recent one where I was downloading it. Right, so, emulation settings. Uh, this one you pretty much just leave it like this. We uh, 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 you get this. Uh, you don't use this one that was by default. You use super, uh, super uh, Wii U uh, compiler, and here as well recompiler a legacy. Here nearest and normal, pretty much. Frame limiter just. Uh, Put 150, 200 uh, disabled, 2, 2. Uh, use synchronized MTGS. Now, here, pretty much put these numbers, it's gonna be okay. Fit the window stretch, custom window size. I recommend this one. Zoom 100. Okay, here, this is just optional, but this is how I did it if you want to know. A speed hacks. Uh, enable it. This is not recommended, but and so we keep it in one. This is not recommended, but we need to uh, use this because it's gonna work better, at least in my experience. Other hacks, pretty much just use these two and this flag hack and fast uh, DVD is uh, not really recommended because this can damage your disc if you are playing it from the disc because it's using a faster technique of reading so not recommend that game fixes nothing really now plugin and BIOS selector and uh, now pretty much uh, this is uh, what my plugins are uh, GS plugin is this is the most important thing. It's called GSDX QD 5206M, and then bunch of other things. Just you can see it from the video. Copy paste to download that. Uh, Lily pad for controls. SPU2. I think that's for sound. Uh, C DVD. I recommend this one. USB new driver. I don't know. I don't know this. Just leave what you want. Uh, basically, use default settings. BIOS. Uh, use whatever want you basically want. I recommend the American one. It j doesn't really matter. The Paul one, of course. You, if you have it, I have all of them. But I don't. Rec I do not recommend using the European one. Cause that makes the games slower. Uh, USA and Japan it uh, runs the game at the same speed because both are NTSC formats so doesn't really 
makes sense Japanese one I don't know it has some reading ISOs issue I don't know when I want to read ISO it just doesn't go into game it goes in the main menu so I use the latest the USA BIOS works fine here okay we don't need that GS uh, configure this is the most important thing now as you see this is uh, definitely not gonna be easy for you to configure if you don't have any idea what the fuck are all those things so let's just do it direct 3d 10 hardware I recommend that one if you have direct 3d 11 use that one I don't have it listed for some reason even though this computer has direct 3d 11 installed I don't know why they don't show it it, it's, it doesn't really change that much f5 where it says just put none custom depends what kind of computer you have uh, you just put custom don't check this one and this resolution this is really not for me to decide because I don't know if you guys have slower faster computer I don't know so I um, you put what you want I I use this resolution because works the best of my computer and best graphics I can afford shade boost we don't need it here leave it like that television check this thing and check this thing and when you're exiting this is for okay just to let you know this one now let's go here now these are I always stick them because these two f can fix uh, crush of the titans and crush minor mutant sprite issues because uh, by default they have something weird around them so this and this enable both of them and it can fix uh, the problem with the sprites make sure to put this uh, on uh, number three uh, these two exit exit and uh, click OK. It says applying settings plugins initialized successfully. That said, we can now ISO select it. Oh, wait a second. Games American, Japanese, uh, Russian. Alright. Oh, this game doesn't want to work for some reason. Okay now you're probably not gonna hear the sound well that's not because it doesn't have a sound it's actually because uh, my recording program for the desktop you can either choose um, computer sound or microphone you can not choose both for some reason you need a different program for that Camtasia Studio but it's okay by the way if the some if this is blue blurry for some reason keep pressing F5 until you don't get the one that you are happy with you see they're changing wave Bob Bob you see the bland it automatic none that's the pretty much the best one we don't need that and as you can see no annoying shit nothing just Crush Bandicoot 5 oh sorry uh, and on pretty much every Japanese game you you need to press uh, you need to press uh, circle instead of uh, but you see the game for me at least the game for me runs at uh, full speed the crabs are glitching a little bit but that's basically it and they're glitching a little bit but it's basically it the game works by the way, this of course works for all the versions, American, European, Japanese, I don't care which one you want. That's basically it, as you see, the game is working. Nice graphics. By the way, 
and that's basically it see works perfect you can now do let's play of this game you can do whatever you feel like with it you can play it uh, in better resolution than PS2 you can hook up your controller have the best experience expect the slowdowns a little bit occasionally but in most of the cases it will work so that's basically it sayonara oh and one more important thing that I forgot to say if this doesn't for some reason work for you and if you still see a bad graphics uh, uh, despite doing uh, what I told you to do uh, go into your emulator directory and uh, find in is go on GSDX wait a second let me move oh yeah you're gonna see this in a notepad make sure to put user wait a second where is it oh yeah here user hacks if it's zero change it to one and then the hacks you applied in the plugin will be uh, confirmed wait a second let's see let's see what's here here you pretty much also in GSDX QD also put user hacks to one and that's basically it if you wonder where to find this plugin uh, worry no more because I'm gonna be uploading it myself so you can check that out just uh, put in a plugin directory and you're good to go sayonara for real